Today I'm going to be starting a new project where I scrape a bunch of muck out of the bottom of a pond that's dried out because of the drought here. Uh, anyways, I thought I'd be changing out from the digging bucket to the grading bucket, which I'm going to use to scrape the mud out with. And I might be switching between different bucket sizes as I'm working on this project. So I decided I'm going to use the quick coupler, which I have not had a chance to install yet, which is this guy. And I'm going to have to figure out how it works. And yeah, so I guess I'll get started on that. So first thing first is got to take the digging bucket off and mine. It takes an inch and a quarter deep well socket to get on these uh, nuts. I don't know if your machine has the same nuts on it, but anyways, those come off pretty easy. those guys off. I'm going to set them on the cardboard I have out here so they don't get dirt on the threads. Start wiggling the pins out most of the way and then take one completely out. Set it on the cardboard so the grease doesn't get dirt all over it. And then I'm going to let the uh, excavator boom down so that I don't have so much force on this bucket. Right there. That way when I pull this last pin out, the bucket doesn't drop on the ground and break my toes. Alright, so let me get to figuring out how the quick coupler goes on there and we'll get to that next. Alright, so best I can tell from looking at it just based on the shape here is it needs to go this way. But before I do that, I'm going to clean the dirt away from around the pinholes so I'm not shoving dirt unnecessarily into the uh, pinholes when we get it in there and cause more abrasion than we need. Right, let's clean those up a little bit. side do the same thing. Okay. Those are all done now. And then we'll take these pins out of these guys. Looks like they just have a lock nut on them. The lock nuts off first. I might get some uh, little D uh, quick quick clips that. Uh, have the little retaining clip and replace these little cheap bolts with those because I think it would be more convenient to replace these with those um, later on. Pins just come out and then let's go ahead and line up the first, the first one. Slide that guy through there. Stumbling block number one. These pins are just too tight. Well, one fits the other, this hole. 
this pin does not fit this hole. So, Chinese, Chinese um, specsmanship, you know. These guys don't know how to make stuff that actually fits. And you can see this is a little dinged up on the edges here. So I think I'll fall back and use the original pins, which I thought I would just use the ones that came with the coupler. But I guess we're not going to do that. Little Chinese quality. So here's the original pin, and it will reach most of the way through this guy. So. Original pin. Gotta love Chinese quality. Gotta love it. All right, and then let's put the nuts on the other side, and I'll get to the next step and see how this actually works. Sure what's going on with my phone but it faulted during the last segment I was filming. Uh, anyways I had cleaned the zerks and then re-greased them and had the nuts on the other side but anyways the phone faulted out and it, it lost the uh, video from that little segment. So anyways I have the uh, coupler connected and then I'm gonna go ahead and see how it works next so let me get going with that. Okay, so off camera, I went ahead and put the two bolts through the um, bucket that I want to quick connect to. And then we're going to go ahead and hope the camera doesn't fault out while I'm filming this segment. I'm going to go ahead and start the machine and try and see if I can pick that thing up with it. and caught it on camera but uh, let's see so now I believe we just go in with the uh, socket here let me get the camera moved over here and then tighten that guy up and if you're wondering on this guy it's a 21 millimeter on this uh, quick coupler I'll make uh, changing the buckets pretty quick, I think. I just need some more practice on picking up the buckets with it. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet and want to see more content on this, uh, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video.